All right, welcome everyone. In this video, I want to show you guys how you can use Photoshop CS2 to export your final colors. I've been getting that question a lot lately since I'm doing a lot of coloring in Clip Studio, and you can export CMYK files from Clip. But to me, the reds look a little weird. So we're going to use some 20-year-old software today to do this. So what I've done here, I've opened uh, a couple of pages from um, the last thing I did for DC, which was... Uh, the Might Before Christmas uh, special drawn by Rebecca Isaacs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use actions, okay, in Photoshop. They haven't changed in a long time, but I'm going to use an action, which I already have set up here, but I'm going to recreate it, that will merge everything down, convert it from RGB to CMYK, and then also export it as a TIFF with all the things that I want. Let's go ahead and make this action first. So right here we have Create New Action. We're going to click that. And I'm going to call this uh, CMYK Maker, because that's what this does. And I'm going to click Record. Now, when you click Record, we're now recording. It's recording whatever actions I'm going to do next, okay? So it's important that you don't start just clicking around doing things, because even if you click on, like, a layer name, it will record the step of clicking the layer with that name. So don't click anything after you click Record, unless it's something you want to record. The first thing I'm going to do... This file, as you can see, has a lot of layers in it. Uh, lots and lots of layers in it. So I'm going to go to Layer, and then Merge Visible. Okay? Uh, you can also just flatten. That probably works. Flatten Image. Now we're still in RGB, so I'm going to go to Image, Mode, and we're going to change this to CMYK. You can see it's added that step here. And now I'm going to save it. Okay? So I'm going to save as... Now what I want you to do is I want you to go and find the folder that you want your files to be saved to. Now, here is a trick for you that I would recommend. This is my work folder, okay, for this particular project. So if I tell this action to save here and record that, it's also going to save it here every time that I run it. So I don't want it saved in my project folder. So what I would do is I would make a folder. Now I call mine PS TIFF export because that's what it is. Uh, I just put this folder um, on my computer. I know where it is. And I'm going to choose to save it here. And the reason for that is the next time I go to run this, it's always going to put my files in here. Okay. So I'm going to go to the pull down. Uh, we're going to change this to TIFF. Uh, we're going to make sure you can see that uh, the profile is included. Okay. Which in this case is the swap coded 20% UCR 280%. That is the print color profile that we'll be using. And I'm going to click Save. This is going to come up. We want to do LZW Compression, Interleaved, IBM, leave everything else the same. Click OK. And now you can see that it has saved that file in the actions. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording of the action. OK. All right. So now we can test it out. So I'm going to go to File, Automate, and then Batch. Because we have a batch of pages here. So Batch. And the action is going to be the CMYK maker, which I just made. The source is going to be the opened files, okay? Because it's the files that are currently open that we're going to batch. And for the destination, I'm going to put none, okay? Because I've actually already chose that step when I saved it. So I know where it's going to go. I'm going to click OK. And if this worked, so you can see it's running through all of these files. And now we have three flattened CMYK files. And now if I go into the folder here to show you, here are those three TIFF files. So the memory you have will determine how many pages you can do at one time. Uh, with my computer, I, I like to put about half an issue. I'll put like 10, 11 pages all in a batch, let it run through the batch, put in the second half of the issue, let it run through that batch. Then when you're done, you've got all your files ready to upload to your publisher or wherever they need to go. So I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial here. I have courses on the full process in Procreate, Photoshop, Clip Studio. Do check out the links in the description. Subscribe, like, and thumbs, and everything, and see you next time.